Okay, Lynn, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get every new spring event reskin scenario. So with that being said, let's just get straight into it. First up, let's go over the Doopy reskin. You can find this reskin anywhere in the game with the odds of 1 in 50. And once you have your Doopy, you can evolve into Doopy Barra starting at level 18. Next up, let's go over the Notance reskin. You can find this reskin anywhere in the game with the odds of 1 in 100. And once you have your Notance, you can evolve into a glam cone starting at level 22. Now let's go over the chick bin reskin. You can find this reskin anywhere in the game with the odds of 1 in 200s. Although I should mention you're only able to find male versions of this reskin, which means once you've found your chick bin, you can only evolve it into a custer starting at level 29. There is another method to get these encounters, and that is to go to Everlush Town and go inside of the town hall. And once you're here, you can buy spring incenses for 50,000, which you can use anywhere in the game to have these reskins spawn in the overworld. And Finally, let's go over the Citrin reskin. If you go to Everlush Town, you'll see these sparkling orbs that will respawn periodically in the center of the town. You can actually interact with them, and most of the time you will get an event item, which unfortunately has no use as of right now. We'll probably need to wait for the second part of this event for their actual function. But every now and then, when you interact with one, you'll get a Citrin encounter, which seems to be fairly uncommon. Although, all of these Citrin reskins can only be female, which means once you've gotten your Citrin, you can only evolve into Citrine starting at level 21, and then you can only evolve your Citrine into Citrus starting at level 37. And the game has a bug, so Citrus shows up as a question mark during the evolution screen, so here's a better look at it. Also, just to mention shiny hunting for these reskins, you can actually chain the normal version of these scenarios and it'll increase your shiny chances for the normal and reskin versions. Once you have a decent chain lull, you want to start hunting for these reskins on routes where the normal version of them won't spawn, because if you encounter a normal shiny version, it will still break your chain. 